In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear Missionary Families for Christ, I'm John Henry Weston, and on behalf of all of us here at LifeSightNews.com, I wanted to wish you a happy and blessed 40th anniversary celebration. We have fought alongside you in this war for faith, life, and family for a quarter of a century, and we know the difficulty and condemnations that come from a firm defense of truth in our times. So many people would, will have asked you over the years why you've focused on the hard issues like abortion or homosexuality, transgender, contraception, divorce, pornography, or IVF. Why not just concentrate on the positive things like raising healthy children, encouraging family prayer, as you also do? But why do you do the other things which alienate many people, which have caused so many to condemn your work, even some prelates in the church? And at LifeSight, we know well your answer. The answer comes from Our Lady of Fatima. The Blessed Virgin Mary told the children, more souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh than for any other reason. Sins of impurity than for any other reason. And the second message also by Our Lady of Fatima was sent in that letter from Sister Lucia to Cardinal Kafara, in which she said, that's Our Lady of Fatima said, the final battle between our Lord and the reign of Satan will be about marriage and the family. Pope John Paul II also noted in his Theology of the Body that the sacred union of a man and a woman in marriage, the conjugal union, is a prime image stamped in all of mankind of the Trinitarian relationship to which we are all called in the life to come. The fathers of the church describe the Trinity as the father loving the son completely, the son loving the father completely, and that complete giving of themselves to each other is itself the Holy Spirit. And it is also, as St. Paul teaches, the key image of Christ's relationship with his church. Thus, Satan, whose primary objective is to steer mankind away from heaven and from Christ, has made this his primary focus of attack, to distort the most prominent image of the Trinitarian relationship to which we are all called, and to distort the image of Christ's own relationship with his church. That's why you do what you do. That's why you put up with the hardships to carry on this work, this work our Lord has called you to do. And I wanted to give a special congratulations to you, Frank and Jerry, for having weathered this work in your marriage all these years. And I know from my own personal experience, and I'm sure that it sometimes caused strain in your own family life. Yet our Lord is faithful. He has seen that his servants will not be tested beyond their means that by relying on him, he will give us his strength to bear our crosses after him. At the end of that letter to Cardinal Kafara from Sister Lucia, she gives this message from Our Lady, a message for those like you who work in this area of defending marriage and the family. Our Heavenly Mother said, and I quote, Don't be afraid. Because anyone who works for the sanctity of marriage and the family will always be fought and opposed in every way because this is the decisive issue, end quote. You know, this battle was known and envisioned in the plan of our Lord. And more importantly, your participation in this battle was known and you, missionary families of Christ, were and are the chosen instruments of our Lord and Our Lady in this great battle. Remember, as Sister Lucia concluded in that letter, Our Lady has already crushed its head. From all of us here at LifeSight News, happy anniversary, missionary families of Christ, and may God bless you.